Hello, welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to learn a lot of exciting things. We are going to learn about conductors and use the knowledge we've gathered already to build our first project. Let's get right into it. So, you already remember that we built ourselves a buzzer circuit using um, two um, dry cells in series and a buzzer. We're going to use the exact same circuit. We are going to connect it together in a very, very interesting way. So now we're just going to do the normal thing, which is connect our positive to our negative of the battery so that we connect it in series. The next thing we're going to do is connect our buzzer, as we already know. Again, yes, we cannot use connect the uh, female to female, so we are going to connect a male to male wire to the battery. And this is where it gets interesting. We are going to connect another male to male header to the buzzer. You may think this is kind of intuitive because how are the two male to male going to connect? So let me show you. Yes, we could just simply connect the male wire to the buzzer and get our sound. But what we're going to discover is in order to build a conductor detector, we would need to have two male to male wires connected to the component and the battery. So when the metal parts of the wires touch, you expect some sound. So this takes us to a very interesting point in our journey. We've actually created our first project and we're going to use this device we've created to detect what conductors are and what non-conductors are. This, for instance, is a piece of metal that you can find inside the sign set. It's a thumbtack. Let's see what happens when we connect both wires to it. So we make sure the wires don't touch, but just simply touch the metal. See? It's actually producing sound. Current is passing through it, which means that this piece of material is a conductor. Let's try another material. Here you go. This is a piece of corrugated cardboard. We are going to try and see what happens. Let's connect our wires to it. No sound. Let's try that again. No sound. What does this tell us? That this material is a non-conductor. So let's put that on this side. Let's bring in another material. This is a piece of glasses I happen to be wearing in the studio. Let's try it out. No, nope, no sound at all. This is also a piece of plastic and it's also a non-conductor. Let's try another material. This is also another material you can find in the sign set. You're going to be using it later to build a switch. Let's try and see. See? It's also a non-conductor. It looks like the non-conductors are winning. <laughs> Let's bring in another material and see. This is a piece of aluminum foil. It doesn't look uh, it's like a solid metal, but let's see if it's a conductor or not. Let's place it there and then let's connect our wires. There you go. It's a conductor. So note, sometimes you can't tell the properties of a material just by looking at it physically. You usually have to subject it to some form of test to find out whether or not it is a, a conductor or not. Next, we're going to look at a pencil. Now let's connect and see, no sound. It's a piece of wood, of course, so we expect that there will not be any sound. It's not a conductor. But what about the tip of the pencil? The small lead that is inside the pencil, is that a conductor? Let's find out. Again, connect to it, make sure the metals don't touch, and voila, it's actually a conductor. So you see, sometimes certain materials can be interesting. The wood around the pencil itself is not a conductor, but the lead inside it is a conductor. It's pretty interesting. Why don't you go around with some adult supervision and see if you can discover more conductors and non-conductors. Again, this here is not a, a conductor. It's a, the cover of a bottle. Let's see if we can try another material. This is also a paper clip that you can find inside the sign set. Let's find out if it's also a conductor or a non-conductor.
you'll be using it to build a switch um, later on well it is a conductor interesting so now let's put that also on the conductor side good excellent in the next tutorial we're going to be learning about leds